Diego. It is wonderful to be in the presence of the artist and the artist's work. Thank you. Um, would you like to talk a little bit about what inspired pre-pandemic, post-capitalism? Um, it, it was actually a friend. Um, mm -hmm. A friend that is kind of my brother. I mean, we are like very close friends, like family and he, he was saying something like, oh, that, that is like pre-pandemic. Like, we are like far away into a different kind of uh, life now. And for me, it was like, oh, that is interesting. There's things that are like pre-pandemic and things that are like like part of what we want the future to look like. So it's, yeah, it's like, like people going crazy on ordering stuff on Amazon and like Uber parking the bike line and uh, conservative people eating meat and your phone. So it's interesting that that you're, you're comparing conditions. You're saying pre-pandemic and post-capitalism as opposed to pre-pandemic and post-capitalism. So is there something inherent about the pandemic conditions that were, uh, I don't know, did capitalism contribute to the pandemic situation? I'm just, it's, it's a curious choice of words as opposed oh, to, right? Yeah. Um, of course, I mean, it is all, all part of the, the, the idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is, might be something that is kind of like picking around something that we are in the middle of, but uh, yeah, also pushing a little bit what we should do. Uh, because like, we are part of the change. Uh, something that like, the, the previous order was like, not letting us be like part of the solution. Would you say that the pandemic was a natural outcome of capitalism? Uh, I think I, I think that yes. I think that that and other things too. It's like a, like a natural reaction of the earth healing itself. It's also a problem for, for us. It's an opportunity. It's something very terrible for a lot of people. It's like. I, I, I like to believe that all the possibilities are, yes, like, it's, it's very, very complex. Uh, it's not one thing or all the things. So if, I, if, as a viewer, I'm coming up with this, what is the one thing that you hope I take away from looking at your pre-pandemic post-capitalism? Uh, I, I would almost say it's instructions or a vision of the future. What, what do you want, what is the feeling that you want people to come away with? Um, just uh, feel part of our like, collective moment. Like, uh, stop being a, a spectator or like an audience. It's like we were told since we born to be a spectators of things and now we have the opportunity of saying like oh actually like I can be happy or I can like live the way that I believe that I want to live or we should live or it's like it's easier than it seems to be. It's, yeah, I, I like that. When people see my work, it's like, oh, like, this is fine. It's like, actually, like, it's not like a fashion thing. It's, we can actually do things to make our world better. It's something that's doable. Yes. It's doable. It's not fancy. No. This is reality. It's, it's way easier than the misery that we were living before. I mean.